Grade 2 Math 2.2, we're going to explore three-digit numbers. We can write a three-digit number for a group of tens. Each group of tens is counted as 100. Here we have one group of 10 tens, that's 100. If the amount of tens has two digits, we write the first digit in the hundreds place and the second digit in the tens place. If we have 10 tens, we write it as 100, zero tens, and zero ones. If we have 20 tens, we write it as 200, zero tens, and zero ones, and so on. Each place value will contain one digit. We have 14 tens, we have 10 tens, that makes 100, and four more tens, that's 10 and 4, that's 14 tens. It's 100, 4 tens, and 0 ones. That's 140. Here we have 10 tens and 3 tens, that's 13 tens. 13 tens is 100, 3 tens, and 0 ones. And we can circle the 10 tens for each 100. 10 tens makes 100, then we can count on by tens. 100, 110, 120, 130. Here we have 11 tens. We have 10 tens circled as 100, and we have one left over. So we have 10 tens and one ten, that's 11 tens. That's 100 with one ten. It's 110. And we can take this group of 10 tens, and if I squeeze them together, you'll see it's the same as the 100. We have to be very careful when counting the tens. We need 10 tens to make 100. So if somebody circled this group of tens, is this 100? 20? Well, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, there's only 9 tens that are circled here. So that's wrong. It needs to have one more 10 in the group to be 10 tens. This is not 120. This is 110. When reading and writing whole numbers, those are counting numbers, we do not use the word and. 110 is 110. 250 is 250. We don't use the word and between the words here, and we'll learn about and for decimal points in fourth grade math, so that's a while away, so don't worry about it, but don't use the word and when you read or write whole numbers. Bob has 180 marbles. How many marbles does he need so that he will have 200 marbles in all? So we think, how many tens are in 180 and in 200? And we can draw a quick picture to find how many more tens he needs to have 200. We can find the difference between 20 tens and 18 tens. We draw lines to make 180 using tens. Here we have 10 tens, that's 100. Then we have eight tens, that's the 80. He has 18 tens. He needs 20 tens. He needs two more tens. We need two more tens here to circle it and make it a 200, don't we? And two tens is equal to 20. That's 20 ones. So he needs 20 more marbles. He has 180 marbles. If he has 20 more marbles, he'll have 200 marbles in all. 
Now let's try some higher order thinking skills. That means we really need to think. Mrs. Kim baked 140 brownies. 10 brownies fit in a box. How many boxes can she fill? So we think, how many tens are in 140? Some of you might be able to see it right away. We can also draw a quick picture to help us. We draw 10 tens plus four tens. With each little line is one box of 10 brownies. That's 100 and four more tens is 40. That is 10 plus four. If you said she can fill 14 boxes, you're right. We can look at the number 140 and we can say this is 14 tens. Tala planted five rows of 10 tulips each. Emma planted seven rows of 10 tulips each. How many tulips did they plant? So be very careful. It's not asking how many rows they planted. It's asking how many tulips they planted. So we need to find out how many tulips they planted in all. We need to find five rows of 10 and how many tulips that is, and seven rows of 10, and then we need to put them together. Well, Tala has five tens, five rows of 10, and Emma has seven tens. That's seven rows of 10. And five tens plus seven tens is, do you know what that equals? How many tens? If you said 12 tens, you're right. And how many is 12 tens? We can draw a quick picture to help us. We have 10 tens, that's 100. And then we have two tens. That's 20. So how many tulips did they plant in all? If you said 120 tulips, you're right. 12 tens is equal to 120. So remember to be very careful when you're counting the tens don't make a mistake and circle the wrong number. We need 10 tens to make each hundred. Our next lesson, 2.3, we're going to model three digit numbers as hundreds, tens, and ones. And I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you're doing very well. Bye.